Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekend advice reading for the weekend of June the 3rd, the 4th and the 5th, 2016. Um, and so this is a general um, reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time, what we need to know about these energies and how we can use them for our highest good. And so this is going to apply to um, everybody. Um, since we're dealing with energies, they will affect us all more or less or definitely in different ways, okay? So as always, keep an open mind and take away the messages that resonate with you that make sense for you and your situation um, and apply them um, to that situation uh, to try to make it better or improve it or take it where you would like it to go. Um, so the message for this weekend is one of... Um, looking at our options, more importantly, reconsidering some options that maybe we have turned our back on. Um, this is to do with our financial well-being for a lot of us. Um, also health and well-being, um, potentially connections, okay, relationships with friends and family. It's something that we have planned for the future okay so we're planning for the future so anything that you consider to be working towards a secure future this is what that applies to so i'm going to show you the cards that we have and then um, tell you the messages that i'm picking up um, from the cards so we have the page of pentacles the three of wands Seven of Cups. Then we have 19 Pride. Self Forgiveness. We also have the Energy of the Chariot present. And the Ten of Autumn. And that is uh, Ten of Pentacles in the traditional tarot. And this is um, my new uh, fairy. A tarot cards deck that these two cards at the bottom come from um, okay so here's what I'm getting we're planning for the future we are working towards a secure future again whatever that means for you um, and so we've had to look at things in in detail we've had to pay attention to everything we were doing we've had to think things through with the page of pentacles this is young energy so we don't know everything yet we have to pay attention to everything in order to learn as much as we possibly can um what i am getting is that maybe we have walked away from an opportunity or from a relationship um too soon okay maybe we didn't give it enough attention. So I feel that this weekend, even though we may want to move forward, even though we're ready to move forward and we're ready to um, see everything happen and make everything happen, I feel like if things have been slow and you don't know why, it's because you have to reconsider an option. You have to go back and look at one option that was either overlooked completely or it wasn't given enough attention because i feel like that could be the last piece of the puzzle for a lot of us this weekend um something is out of balance and so that's why whatever plans we're trying to push forward um keep running into obstacles or delays we need to go back and reconsider something even though we may be absolutely confident with what we're doing okay with the pride card there um, I do feel that with the pride and self-forgiveness together, we kind of know what this is. I feel that when this offer was presented to us or opportunity, um, initially we thought, well, there could be something there. And then immediately we thought, but everything's set so well together, I have everything planned and so this doesn't fit in there and I have to change stuff around to make it fit. Um, and so I think it's best to just stick with the plan. And so I feel like there was that kind of a reaction where 
Initially, we thought, oh, okay, well, that could be good. That could work. There could be something there. However, then we kind of changed our minds and um, decided we're not going to use that. We're not going to invest in that because we don't have any more time or we don't have any more money or we don't have um, whatever, okay? And again, this could be a financial opportunity or... Um, any opportunity really it depends what you're trying to accomplish um, it could be relationships connections with people and so on so I feel like with the pride card it's telling you don't be too proud to re reconsider don't be too proud to look back and make sure that everything is okay make sure that we we have analyzed all our options that we have taking everything into account okay with the page of Pentacles it's okay okay it doesn't um, make us any anything less and it doesn't mean that we were wrong about anything so it's okay don't let your pride continue to try to push something forward that maybe needs something else in order to move forward into the abundance and the stability that you're trying to accomplish um because i feel like there's something there okay with the self-forgiveness don't feel guilty about anything and don't feel disappointed and don't feel it in any kind of a negative way. Um, we're all doing the best that we can. That's not, you know, something that is changed by the fact that we're going back and reconsidering something. Okay, so don't be afraid to do that. Uh, because I feel that with the Page of Pentacles, there was something there. With the Three of Wands, we may have walked away from it too soon. However, if we go back with the Seven of Cups, I feel like we're going to get a lot more options than we had before. So um, really go back and reconsider something. And again, I feel like you're going to know what this is. You're going to um, think about it. You know, as I'm talking about this, I feel like you're going to go, oh yeah, there was that one thing that you kind of always wondered about and that you kind of felt like it could work but didn't really pursue it, okay? So this is a weekend where we're given a break, we're giving some breathing room um, in order to just go back everything and recheck everything because there's something that we have been missing and it was already offered to us, it was already in our lives. But for whatever reason, we may have walked away from it too quickly or didn't give it enough attention. And, you know, it could have been something with our pride that made us do that. It could have been that perhaps someone was trying to um, offer a suggestion or someone was trying to um, try to get us to look at things from a different perspective or anything like that. And maybe this person was young or maybe this person didn't have a lot of experience. And so we thought, well, yeah, okay, um, you don't really know what you're talking about yet but thank you that's okay um, and so maybe there was something with your pride that kind of made you walk away from that or not give it enough attention and so it's okay you can uh, just go back to it and forgive yourself don't feel guilty over it again we are all doing everything that we can and the best we can um, this is telling you don't let your pride hold you back don't let your pride keep you stuck on a path that seems to not be able to move forward it seems to be missing something okay it's like the car can only go you know up to third for some reason when in reality it could go up to fifth so go back and see you know retrace your steps and see if everything has been taken into account and, and if everything and every other option has been looked at and and um invested in even if it's just time the time that you take to look at the option and see where it could go because again there is something in um an option that we maybe didn't pay enough attention to that is going to open up a lot more opportunities for us with the seven of cups okay it's going to put things in a different perspective it's going to give us some information that we did not have and so maybe then Things are finally going to be able to move forward at the speed that we would like them to. And we are going to see that success. Okay, but with the chariot, the success comes from self-discipline. Okay, and, and keeping ourselves focused and keeping ourselves on the right track and doing the right things. So, 
again don't be afraid to go back and recheck everything and don't be afraid to go back and relook at an opportunity okay because we are heading into the energy of the 10 of autumn we're heading into our stability and our abundance our happy times you know the end of worries and financial security financial independence better health and so on okay so this is what we're heading into however we cannot skip steps getting there we're supposed to do everything just right and take all the steps that we need to take so it's okay to take our time and review something that maybe was overlooked okay and don't take don't allow pride to come into the picture and you know for your ego consciousness to go no but this is fine everything's fine i'm supposed to just keep going when there's something that is kind of blocking you you have to relook at the situation there's something that you're missing and don't let pride make you feel bad or disappointed or like you did anything wrong if you have to go back and recheck everything that's just being smart okay so don't let pride tell you any different and if you have to apologize to someone that was trying to help you that's okay you are supposed to first of all forgive yourself okay don't feel bad about it again don't allow your pride to get in the way and just you know go up to that person and have that conversation say you know what I may have rushed into something or whatever um, the case was and could you tell me about it about that again could you uh, explain that to me again because I think I missed something that's all you have to do okay it's not there's nothing to be ashamed of there's nothing to feel bad about you're just being smart okay and you're being a good person okay you're not hiding behind what your pride is telling you you're not afraid to reconsider okay you're adapting and you're allowing for um the fact that maybe the plan wasn't 100 percent perfect and you're allowing for the fact that maybe um, you know, we don't know everything because we don't. We're always learning and we're always growing. And in order to do that, we have to be adaptable. We have to be open-minded. We have to go with the flow, okay? And not keep trying to break down a door when it just won't break, okay? We, there's something that is holding us back. There's something that is not working in our approach. So a smart person takes a step back and reconsiders looks at the plan looks at the resources looks at the opportunities comes up with a different plan a better plan and then goes and breaks down that door okay someone who is driven by pride will just keep trying to break the door okay no matter that it's not happening no matter that it you know it's not going anywhere because pride tells them but you're doing everything right it has to break down you're not you haven't done anything wrong you're on the right track you have to be You've got a plan keep going and so you keep going and keep investing in something that is never going to work because it's missing one little thing okay so this is an opportunity for us this weekend to take a step back look at something that is not working in our lives look at something that we've been trying to push forward and it's just resisting and think about it was there an option that you did not consider was there an opportunity that maybe we didn't look at in enough detail take your time okay you're planning for the future and you want it to be a happy secure and stable future so taking your time is a good thing is a smart thing okay reviewing your options is a smart things a smart thing to do um changing the plan is a smart thing to do okay if something is truly not working and you feel resistance there there's something missing what is it okay so it's time to be practical about things and it's time to be smart about things um, and for us not to allow our pride to get in the way in the least so really take your time this weekend and review your options okay review the plan in order to adapt it and make it better see what's missing okay see what this opportunity is that maybe we walked away from too soon don't feel bad about it that's just your pride tell talking to you and it's not necessary It's the one thing that maybe has been holding you back until now okay so don't feel bad about it don't feel guilty don't feel any kind of a way this is an uh, this is another opportunity meant to help us 
move forward. So we don't have to feel bad about it. We just, you know, take it, accept it, or grateful for it, and use it because it's positive. Okay, so um, that's the message that we have for this weekend. Um, again, don't feel bad if things aren't working or don't look at yourself in terms of what am I doing wrong or anything like that, okay? It's not that. You're just supposed to go back and review your options. That's all it is. Again, we're all doing the best we can and there's no one judging us for that. And we shouldn't judge ourselves too harshly for doing everything that we think is right, okay? And when things are not moving, we should just take a step back and look at it from a different perspective and reassess where we are and what we're dealing with and what we can do about it truly. Don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be afraid to ask for guidance. Don't be afraid to go back and speak to this person that tried to tell you differently. Okay? We are heading into a happy and secure future. And we need to be happy and secure within ourselves in order to get there in order to take all the steps and not be afraid to go back and not be afraid to talk to people and not be too proud to ask for help if this is what has been missing, okay? So there we have it. Uh, let me know how the reading makes sense to you and how it applies to your situation and what you're going through. I hope that this is helpful um, and I hope that we all have a beautiful weekend and making a lot of breakthroughs and progress. And um, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, take care.